Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13 through 18. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Shai. I want to give all praises and honors to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kadash. I want to give another double honor to the apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to you, sincere Akim, that's pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. All right? And the ones that's out there listening, all right? You men, women, and children, children all right? This is the brother, Malachi. And I want to get into a lesson today about how <clears throat> the most high, hey, the most high is working. We can see it through the prophecies. The most high is working, all right? You can see I did a video earlier with the, uh, with the chariots. I did a video earlier with, uh, uh, with Italy being shut down. You can see they don't not, they're not putting too much stuff over there what's going on in China, but things are still popping off over there. All right, but now it's made its way over here to the U.S. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do just various, uh, I guess, uh, various topics, basically, of what's going on. All right, I was going to do with the whole world events, but the uh, the elder, Manatazat Ba, all right, in South Carolina, he just did an end of the uh, world news report. And he went through a, a series of things. So I advise a lot of brothers to go check that out as well. But this one, I'm just going to kind of mainly... Uh, stay just within the um, the um, the states that have been declared uh, a state of an emergency because of the coronavirus. Okay, so I got a, a couple articles, and then we're just gonna go ahead and read uh, uh, some scriptures, and then we're gonna close out. Lord willing, this lesson is not um, it's not too long. Okay, so here it is <clears throat> from CBSNews.com. This is one article. It says. New York joins four other states in declaring state of an emergency amid coronavirus outbreak. And this article was uh, written seven, uh, Salakia, three days ago. All right, so let's read something. Let's read into it. It says New York Governor Andrew uh, Cu uh, Cuomo declared a state of emergency amid the coron coronavirus outbreak. At least 90 people have been diagnosed in New York State as of Saturday night, with the majority of cases based in Westchester County. As of Saturday afternoon, New York joined four other states in declaring a state of emergency to help combat the spread of the virus. So like here, it says there have been more than 102,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in 78 countries, according to John Hopkins Center for Systems Science and Engineering. All right, so we can see within 78 countries, the Most High is moving this, this virus all around. It's spreading, it's mutating, it's catching people, all right? It's catching the people unaware. The people are catching this virus and it's due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He's moving. He's making his way and he's touching this land. He's touching this earth. All right? 
It says, in the U.S., there have been 17 deaths due to COVID-19, including 14 in Washington State, one in California, and two in Florida. And this is where I am in Florida, in Tampa, Florida. Okay? Two people have died here in Florida. You got 14 in Washington State and one in California. All right? We're going to get into one with Florida as well. All right? It says, uh, uh, I guess it's a, a Twitter account, Andrew Cuomo, the, the governor. It says, we have learned a new confirmed cases of coronavirus in New York State bringing the total number of cases to 76. It says 57 cases in Westchester County, 11 cases in New York City, in cases in Nassau County, two cases in Rockland County, two cases in Saratoga County. Mm. It says in a press statement, the government, so like it, the governor said the state of emergency will give the certain powers to help local health departments that are very stressed. All right, so we can see what's going on. All right, the world is is in in shock. They're in fear of what's going on. Okay, <laughs> hey, this is beautiful, man. It says as the local health departments continue to monitor and quarantine people, we have a more ex uh, expedited purchasing protocol to get them all the tools they need to contain the virus spread, he said. In the meantime, we are, crocking, so like it, we are cracking down on price gouging, which continues to be a problem. And I want business to be aware that you could lose your license because they, so like it, because we are very serious about this. And you can see the price gouging as, as let's, let's see if I can pull that up right quick. Um... What was that? Amazon. Let's, let's check that out. What uh, for hand sanitizer? I don't know, but someone told me that the um that the hand sanitizer was like it, it, it was crazy. The prices. Let me see if it's. I should have looked this up. Hand sanitizer. So let's see if it's still like he said. You see? Well, some. Some hand sanitizer. I'm practicing my tongue twisters. Fell up. <laughs> so lock you the phone. <laughs> All right. It says WBM LLC natural hand sanitizer kit, massage bowl lamp. They're trying to add all these different things, which is 55 bucks. All right, $32.99, dollars $14.99, $12.99, look, look, $45.99. This is price gouging, all right? You have certain things that's, it's, hand sanitizer shouldn't be this much, all right? <laughs> certain things you can see on here is price gouging, all right? You see right here, this would be, you go to your local store, it would be like $3.99 or maybe no more than 5 bucks. Hand sanitizer has, has skyrocketed. What, $46.99? What, what, what? Wow, you see it? And it's just the beginning of it, okay? So let's go back to um, the article, okay? Um, hmm. Let's read right here. It says the, uh, the, the, uh, the declaration will allow the state to expedite procurement of cleaning supplies, hand sanitizer, and other resources. Allow qualified professionals aside from doctors and nurses to test individuals for coronaviruses. Uh, expedite uh, additional testing supplies, equipment, personnel, and lab space. Permit EMS to transport patients to quarantines other than hospitals and set guidelines for price gouging and enforcement investigations. All right, so let's look at this. It says coronavirus responses around the world. So let's look at some of these um, video, uh, I guess, pictures. All right, here's one with an elderly woman. <laughs> I'm not even going to have time to read that. I don't want to make the lesson too long. Um, oh, maybe it's this one.
What's going on? Okay. All right, here it is. You see, and uh, here's a soccer game. Okay, in Spain. All right, this was uh, today. Fans cannot attend matches because of the coronavirus emergency. All right, because it's a whole, it's locked down over there. In Spain and Italy over there on that side, it's all locked down. So the games are going to be empty. Hmm. Here it is right here. A woman with the mask. Even though they say that the masks don't work. <laughs> people don't want to shake hands now. So now you see people, they doing the elbow check now. Hey, what's going on with the elbow? <laughs> people taking precautions now. The people that's sanitizing the, 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 the fruits and the fruit stands with the... Uh, with the actual fruits, the tomatoes, that tomatoes, strawberries, oranges, all right? They're disinfecting the things that are around. And that's right there in Tehran, Iran. Man, what's going on? Okay, it says tourists staring at home. So you can see where people would be going around traveling in the tourist area of Rome. Hey, it's being closed. Here it is, somebody, someone must be uh, quarantined inside the house with the mask on, and they're in the window. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, in China, they're disinfecting the, uh, the churches now. <laughs> the, here are the pews. They're disinfecting the whole building. We're just going to go to 10. Um, it says, traders work the floor of the New York Stock Exchange on March 5th. New York City coronavirus fears they have a big toll on stocks recently. The people over there in the, in, in the stock market, hey, man, they, they tripping. All right? They going through it. People pulling out. People selling stocks. The, the economy is, is going down just because of this coronavirus. It says, not so smooth sailing. Crew members of the, aboard the Diamond Princess cruise ships uh, in the port of Yokohama, Japan, uh, hundreds of people um, aboard the ship became ill from the coronavirus. And that's when you get some of, some of those deaths because some of those people aborted that Diamond Princess cruise ship. All right? So let's go back to, um, oh, did it take me off? Okay, let me... Um, I've lost my place. So lock you. All right, one more. All right, here it is. And those were the responses, all right? The pictures. Okay, so here's one. It says California. That's one, all right? We're not going to read all of that, but... That's one. Here it is here in Florida where I am. Okay. It says Florida was put under a state of emergency on March 1st uh, at the direction of Governor Ron DeSantis. All right. Saturday, there was 13 confirmed cases in this state where it started off with, uh, what, what started off with one and then it jumped to two and then now it's at 13. So we can see that this thing is hey, spreading, man. Here it is, you got one in, you got Maryland, and you have Washington, all right? The state of Washington was the first in the U.S. to declare a state of an emergency. I, be, I, I believe that's where the first case was started at in Washington, okay? So we can see what's going on. Um, it says U.S. Corona, uh, coronavirus fatalities rise to 17. And that's enough with that article. Here's another one. It says, so lock it. it says, new, uh, here it says, LeBron changes stance on playing without fans. Right, because he know he has to play. He, it was in the news that he said he was not going to play in the stadium with no fans. 
This man doesn't even know that. Well, he knows now, but he knows that he's under contract. He has to play, even if there's no fans inside there. Just like you see in the, in the photos with the um, with the soccer players out there in Spain. A lot of those people, they're on contracts. They still have to go out there no matter what. All right? Here it is. Another, the news article. It says, New Salakia, North uh, Carolina governor declares state of emergency amid coronavirus concerns. Here it is. It says, Relay... Or Relay, Relay, North Carolina. Um, Governor Roy Cooper declared a state of an emergency for North Carolina amid coronavirus concerns Tuesday, which is today, a day after officials announced a total of seven positive COVID-19 cases in the state. It's, hey, it's rising, it's rising, and we can see it. Things are getting shut down. People are being scared. Schools, universities, um, games, concerts, festivals. All right? Sooner or later, you're going to see these clubs, these churches. Many, hey, the Most High is getting ready to shut this place down, man. All right? And we're going to see it. And through the scriptures, it tell you that the, 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 uh, the grinding of the mills will cease. Roughly paraphrasing. So let's um, skip around in this article. We start right here. It says, as of 11.45 a.m., we have tested a total of 44 people, state health officials said Tuesday. We have current supplies to test another 300. All right. Um, it says, five more people test positive for coronavirus in North Carolina. Hey, man, you can see. <laughs> hey, this is beautiful, man. It is spreading, man. This is spreading. All right, I got one more news article. I don't want to uh, spend too much time on the news articles. Here's another one. Coronavirus update. Here's what we know about New Jersey's 11 cases as a state of an emergency declared. And this was done five hours ago. So you can see, hey, <laughs> things is moving. Things is moving, okay? These people around panicking. They're going around trying to find out how to make a virus and things like that. But hey, this is the work of the Heavenly Father. All right? This is the way the times are being shortened, okay? It says, Governor Phil Murphy declared a state of an emergency in New Jersey as the number of cases of coronavirus in the state grew to 11 on Monday with patients diagnosed in five counties. Spread it. The state of the New Jersey is committed to deploying every available resource across all levels of government to help respond to the spread of COVID-19 and keep our residents informed, Murphy said, referring to the disease caused by the virus. All right? Let's go ahead and um, try to skip around. Uh, it says, the governor said the action was necessary to ensure that local health agencies on the front lines of states' response are equipped with the resources needed to further prepare our healthcare system for a broader spread of COVID-19. So these people, they already know that, A, it's already out there. They know that it's going to spread. They know it's not going to stop either. Okay? Um, let's see. Hmm. You start right here. It says, as the virus spread to 34 states, an official for the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warned that many people in the United States will at some point in time, either this year or next, be exposed to this virus. And there's a good chance that most will become sick. They know it's going to spread. They know it's going to get worse. All right. They see how it shook down and basically crumbled China. All right. This thing is coming to the U.S., all right, and it's getting ready to cease. A lot of this mirth and everything is ceasing, all right? You go to the stores, people buying up groceries, man. I work at a warehouse, all right, and within the past couple weeks, cases have been up. The things that we would have to select the cases for the stores, okay? These things has been, everything has increased, all right? They've made everybody go to a mandatory uh. Uh, five to six day work uh, work week. 
hey, this thing is getting serious. It's going to get to the point to where it's going to stop all transit. The trucks ain't going to be able to bring in the things to the warehouse, all right? The truckers may even get sick, all right? You never know. You never know when it says, um, uh, Salakia. Um, um, I believe it's a second Ezra. I believe it's 15. I could be wrong, but I believe it's 15 when it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. All right? You shall not be able to. So if it's like that, all transit, all trucks, all that's going to stop. Me going to work, all that's going to stop. All right? This is where they're going to have you depend on these FEMA camps when they start to implement it. Okay? So now when they implement it, now you got to go down there for the food, the raiment. All right? But you got to guess what? They go, that's when they're going to start to implement that RID chip. All right? You can see that this man knows that he has but a short time. These UFO sightings are all around the earth. You can see it. It's plain. It's plain to the elect. But to everyone else, they're confused. They're in fear. They're afraid. All right? It, it reads on. It says, um, the highest risk of illness and deaths in uh, death is in people over 80, said Dr. Nancy Messonier, director of the CDC Center for Immunization and Res uh, Respiratory Disease, in a conference call with reporters. Uh, let's keep going down. All right, now they're going to the symptoms. I mean, so like the new cases and the screening with the people. So you have an 18 year old woman. So she's young. Hmm. A 30-year-old a neck man, a 48-year-old man, a 27-year-old man, and an 83-year-old woman. In addition, 24 people are in the pipeline to be tested through the state, uh, through the state public health laboratory, and an unknown number of others may be getting tested through private labs. So those numbers let you know, hey, it's even more people getting infected with uh, with this uh, with this disease. It says, we do expect more cases. I don't want to sugarcoat that at all. They let, hey, they, <laughs> they letting you know, man, hey, this place is, hey, this place is, hey, it's infected. Once one person has been infected, basically the whole U.S. is infected now, all right? It's only spreading, all right? This is just the confirmed cases of people who show symptoms. Not saying how many people who already caught it and are still walking around and spreading it. Just give this a couple more months. We're going to see it. These people going to drop by the thousands. All right? It's going to be declared mar medical martial law. They're going to lock down this whole state, bro. It's a lot of this whole uh, country. All right? This is when everything is going to start to come into play. A lot of the uh, prophecies in 2nd Ezra, you're going to see it. All right? Chapter 9 and 15. All right, six. You're going to see a whole lot of things start to happen. All right. It says early in New Jersey, coronavirus cases. All right. So they're going in. This, uh, it's just really uh, basically to pinpoint the places that, uh, that started in declaring the state of an emergencies and many more to come. All right. So you got New Jersey. You got North Carolina. You got New York. You have Washington, Maryland, Florida, California. Hey, this is just the beginning, y'all. This is just the beginning. All right? So we can see um, that uh, the Most High, He is moving. All right? And He's doing this for the elect. All right? He's doing this for Israel. He's doing it for the elect of Israel because He's giving the promise to them. All right? So this is the book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous Hold on, Tulaki. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And the reason why it's translated from one people to another is because you can see that this place is evil. All right? This, let's get that, Amos 9 and 8. All right? This place is evil. It's brought upon bloodshed. And it's time for it to go down. All right? So this is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord 
our power. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, are upon the sinful kingdom. His eyes is upon this sinful kingdom. Okay? It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. All right? So the house of Jacob will not be consumed. All right? It's not going to be consumed because one kingdom is going to be translated from this kingdom to another. So the kingdom of Esau is going to be translated to what? It's going to be translated to Jacob. Let's prove that. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. All right? So you go into this uh world uh this 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 word world uh, I believe it uh, It goes into the Greek. I believe it goes into um, aeon, meaning an age. So this is the end of this man's rulership, his age. Because each kingdom, all right, that you go and you read throughout history had an age of rulership. And this is the age of Esau. But we can see that it's getting ready to be translated. All right? It's getting ready to be gone. All right? This place is nothing. It's, it's defiled. And the Most High is this why you see the, the different plagues that's going on. The Most High is moving and he's sweeping this whole nation. All right? This whole sinful kingdom. You can go all around the earth. You can see it. The Most High is getting ready to bring and usher in the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, For Esau is the end of the world, the end of this age, and Jacob, which is the 12 tribes of Israel is the beginning of it that followeth. And this is what's going to happen. This is where you read in the scriptures and revelations that this place is going to get burned down, thermal uh, nuclear missiles, all right? This place has to fall in order for the, uh, the, the, the transitioning of the new kingdom to be uh, established throughout the earth, all right? As I read earlier, how the sound of their voice of the word had went out into the ends of the earth. All right, it has been going out. Now through the prophecies, we see the people are waking up. They're calling upon you, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Let's get that in um, Baruch 2 and 30. All right, because the people are remembering themselves. The people are turning their face towards the east and they're praying and they're praying and they're remembering. Okay? This is uh, Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. It says, For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves. All right? Because we can see at the point that we're remembering ourselves. All right, it says, and I shall know that, and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. And we know that that is our power. We know that we 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 see and that we hear. He's given us the understanding. All right, all right. So um, it says, verse thirty-two, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. This is the land of our captivity. But guess what? We're still praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We are bearing the indignation that we know that we have sinned against him. We know that the whole nation of Israel had went off. All right? We know about the uh, curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. We know that that is uh, uh, bestowed upon us. But we know that when we came to remember ourselves, the prophecy said that they will rise up. You read that in the Valley of the Dry Bones in uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. Okay? It says uh, at the top again in verse 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. All right? We turned away from all of that. Okay? It says, For, <clears throat> for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not 
be diminished. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. And this is what we are looking for. All right, we can see the different things is going on on this side. All right, on the next side, we're going to see us in the kingdom. All right, prospering, prospering. All right, having the nations uh, under subjection. All right, we're going we're gonna to see things start. We're gonna, that's when we're going to be living. Right now, this is hell on this side. But in order for us to get to that other side over there, we got to go through all this. And we can see that the Lord is making his way. All right. He's moving. He's hearing the prayers. He's seeing what we're doing. He see that we remember. All right. He sees that we in our good state of mind that we're trying to come back to him. We're seeking him 10 times harder. And therefore, that's why you see the different plagues. All right. You see. Um, so like it. You see the different plagues, the earthquakes, the uproars, the pestilence. You see these things going. All right. It's just it's a it's continuously. And we can only, and we see it's only March 10th. Many things have been happening. The year of prophecy. All right. So let's jump into the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. It says, And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few. And those that look out the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. That's what's coming to America. That's what's coming to Babylon the Great. All right. The doors will be shut in the streets. Everybody's going to be locked up inside them homes. All right. It says when the sound of the grinding is low, many people not going to be working. All right. It's going to get to a low point to where minimal people are going to be working. It's probably only going to be these FEMA camps out here working, getting these people in order. Everybody else is going to be locked up inside their homes. It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and the daughters of music shall be brought low. So all the mirth, all that is going to be gone. OK, here's Isaiah 16 and 10. It says, and gladness is taken away. And joy out of the plenty, uh, plentiful field. This place is plentiful with all type of things. You can go to the store, pick up whatever you want. If you got the money, you got it. Anything. This is that sinful kingdom. All right. Any type of sexual act that you want, you're free to do whatever you want. Come as you are. This is the place to be. But all that's going to be down one day. It's coming soon. It says in the vineyards. There shall be no singing, neither shall there be shouting. The, tre the treaters shall tread out no wine in their presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. This is what the Most High is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to do it. Okay? And, that's, and that was concerning Moab. Alright? And it's the same thing. It's going to be the same thing here. In the United States, Babylon the Great. So this is Matthew. Matthew 24. And we're going to start at 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Alright? The end is not yet. We can clearly see that. We're approaching the end, all right? The things have to get built up over time, but we can see that the, uh, that the, um, the contractions of this woman is getting closer and closer to where she's going to be able to deliver up the child. We're getting there, and it's getting closer, all right? It says, um, for nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. This is what's going on. Puerto Rico, the coast of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, all in the Caribbean, earthquakes. That's just certain places. You go look online, you can see earthquakes all around this whole earth. Those are just the ones that we see that have been reported. 
All right, we did videos on. You got the uh, nation shall rise against nation. Hey, you got that coming. Hey, that's coming soon. Race wars. That's soon to happen. You got kingdom against kingdom. This is where you get in the scripture before the rumors of wars. This is coming as well. So we can see all these are the beginning of sorrows. And where is that? Um, and this links up with Romans 10 and 18. Uh, and it says, Roman, uh, Salakia, Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. Oh, Salakia. Um, yeah, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom, all right, because we're preaching against, we're preaching about the gospel, all right, the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven on earth, all right. We're talking about it. We're talking about the names, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, all right. That's the tower that we, the righteous run into, all right. We run into it through the name. All right. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. All the nations have not heard yet, but they we're getting close to it. All right. It says, and then shall the end come. The end is not come. This is just the beginning of sorrows, but the end is coming. Why? Because everybody has to hear this word. They have to hear this gospel. And it's getting ready to come. We can see it. It was one thing um, that I wanted to put. Oh, this is Matthew 24, verse 22. All right. It says, and except those days should be shortened, because we can see that the days are getting shorter and shorter. All right. This is only the third month in March. And all these things are happening. All right. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. No flesh will be saved on this earth. All right? Especially uh, of Jacob. All right? Because Esau, Edom is coming after him so hard through his philosophies, his media, his witchcraft. All right? Every, every, on all levels, on all spiritual type levels. All right? This man is coming after the... Uh, uh, after the Israelites, but only the elect is going to make it out. All right. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. Let me see. Um, as Sodom. But yeah, we'll be as um, Sodom. I, I, I can't remember. I believe it's, it's as Sodom. Hmm. Salakia, Salakia. Well, here's one Isaiah ten and twenty one. Um, it says, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. Right. Because you can see that we're returning. Here it is. Isaiah 1 and 9. I can't, I can't always remember that. But it's Isaiah chapter 1 and 9. All right. It will be, um, it's lucky. It says, except, it's Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. All right? We will be just like that if the Most High has not shortened the days. All right? Let's jump into Matthew 11 and 25 to 30 and we're going to close out. All right? It says, um, At that time, Yahweh answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. This is Yahweh giving a prayer unto the heavenly Father. All right, Yahweh saying he's thinking 
that he has not revealed this unto the, 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 the wise and the prudent, meaning the people of this world that love the, uh, the wisdom and uh, what the false wisdom that they have and, 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 and their, in their prudent ways, all right? But he's revealed them unto babes, revealed them unto people who are meek and, and lowly and humble, all right? People such as us, which will be of the hopeful elect, okay? It says, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy, in thy sight. It's good in the, heavens, in the heavenly Father's sight. That he's given it unto people that uh that that is the stumbling block to people. All right, he's given it unto the people that they call Hispanics and uh or Salakia, spicks and uh porch monkeys, niggers. All right, he's revealed it unto them, the people whom no one has even looked for, the the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right, verse twenty seven. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. So the only way you're going to know uh, uh, the Most High is through the Son. And the only person that knows the Son is the Most High. But now through the Spirit, we're learning Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh We're learning the Son. All right, we learn the Son because the Son is supping with us, and it's because the Most High has drew us to the Son. All right, meaning the Most High wants you to know Him. He's given you the gift of of of, of faith so that you can believe on the names Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Okay, verse twenty-eight. It says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. As I said earlier, the names are as a strong tower. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. All right. The righteous run into it. It says, verse 29, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. We just head over the Passover. All right. You had many new brothers that come in. You know, they were asking a whole lot of questions. Maybe this wasn't the year for them to learn it. But now, since they know the importance of the Passover, if we're still here um, next year, Lord willing, we're not. But if we still are, they can keep the Passover and it's going to be an even greater Passover the next year. All right? Because we're going to see a lot more things starting to happen. All right? Everything's not just going to just come uh, combustion like all in one setting. No. Or it's coming, all right? But it's only going to come like that at the very end. Right now, things are just getting built up. So who knows? Lord willing, this is the last year. But if not, the, new per the newer people that just came in, we can see for the Passover, they're going to be able to keep it better the next year because they're going to have the new and uh, they're going to have the, uh, the better understanding of what it is, all right? It says, come unto me, all ye that labor. And heavy and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's gonna give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Right. So when you find out the names, when you get into uh on the scriptures and you and you start to learn, you start to eat, all right. You eat the, the sweet part and you eat the bitter parts. You eat the whole scroll, all right? Then you will find rest unto your souls because the Most High is giving you, all right? He's giving you the, the, uh, the things uh, that has been revealed unto babes, the things that's revealed unto the lowly and the meek of heart, all right? It says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So the things that he's telling us to do it is light. It's not. It, it, you shouldn't be grieved at, at at doing the commandments. You shouldn't be grieved at doing anything because this is the way to your salvation, your faith, your works. All right. This is how you're going to be saved. Your faith. All right. And by your works, away from the said perils that is about to come. And Lord willing, uh, the, uh, that this coronavirus pass over you. Okay. 
So you're going to see um, within these next coming months, we're going to see a lot of these numbers begin to rise. And many people are going to be, uh, uh, um, many people are going to see what's going on. Many people are going to see the things, all right, that the prophets of, 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 of before and the prophets now on the highways and hedges have been saying for years are going to be coming true before the eyes. And this is what's going to put the fear in a lot of people. All right. And a lot of people are going to see who Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai is. They're going to see him through the works of the elect. All right. They're going to see through the works of Yahweh Shai. All right. When he comes to bring this place down. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto you, Akim and Aqua, that has been listening in sincerity and in truth. All right. Lord willing, this was edifying unto you. This is the brother Malachiah. Shalom.